Jedi Guru here, bringing you the next episode of Star's Galaxies. Now, this video, it won't be long, it, it'll be a pretty a short episode. So, what I decided to do is if you followed me on the last video, we, uh, we got some armor going and we got some buffs. So, what I decided to do for this episode is to go ahead and show you guys what uh, killing creature missions would be like. So let's get right to it. Yeah, make sure that that's on the story. Alright, so... If... When you're trying to look for destroyed missions, and if you're trying to look for a creature uh, layer, it'll look something like this. Like, it'll act like it's something a creature would harvest the layer for. Now this machine right here, that's obviously a humanoid mission. So this one's going to be the one with the guns. And don't worry about all of this information here. Because it's kind of not really all of this important. It's just some uh, background information the game randomly generates, which, which is kind of cool if you want to read all this, pretend it's like a roleplay style. Um, but no, today we're going to do some creature missions. And since we're buffed up and with armor, we'll try to do some harder ones. Uh, this one's to the east. Oh, it, uh, another thing too, when picking out missions like these, you gotta make sure they're in the same direction. So I just picked mine up to the east, so let's try to find another east-like mission. Uh, da -da -da, no. Okay, here we go. And uh, before we can even go there, Let's make a quick trip to the uh, Bizarre Terminal. Now, if you got some money going, uh, if you've done some deliveries, you may want to upgrade your vehicle. So what I would do is, if you're in Corellia Cornet, like where I'm at, go to all auctions, this region, and click on deeds. And you may want to expand that to vehicle deed. And here's some swoops we could get. They're, usually, they're in, anywhere from like 5,000 to 9,000 credits a piece. Uh, you gotta make sure uh, which vehicle you're looking for. Now these are all player handmade. So this is not something you can just loot from mobs. Uh, let's try this one and see how that does. They're in my inventory. Aha, speeder bike swoop. Now, speeder bike swoop in the game is actually the fastest vehicle amount you can get. So, if you want a fast vehicle, this is the mount to get it. Alright, let's go ahead and move on with the mission. Alright, so, um, yeah, I haven't really been on for a few days. I've been kind of taking a short break, but um, uh, we'll see how this goes. Now I'll be back in a minute. All right, so um, hi, this is me from the future. So um. When I was going through the video files, it turns out this part that I'm about to show you got corrupted. So I'm doing a different mission to showcase what hunting creature missions about. 
So since I'm wearing buffs and armor, I should be able to tank these guys. Oh, they're spitters. Well, that makes things uh, harder. All right, let's go gather them. So I can all get close. Normally creatures are not ranged, but these creatures in particular are ranged, so just be aware of when you're hunting creatures, they, some of them may be ranged, but it should not be too hard to handle. But yeah, I, I lost about 10 minutes of footage explaining the whole process. Alright, so when it comes to creature um, uh, missions, there's a total of three waves. So as you can just saw, there's a second wave to just spawn. So once we kill the second wave, we have to wait a bit until the warrior gets about halfway for the third wave to spawn in. And here comes the spitters again, so let's go ahead and round them up. Something I noticed when it comes to these ranged creatures, you can try and like run up in the hill, it'll make them run closer to the lair, and then you can just charge back in and just AOE attack them. So that's what I'm doing right now. See, now they're all close to the lair now, because I made them go this way. Area attack away! But yeah, as I was saying uh, before, I lost about 10 minutes of footage um, of explaining that, so... No real big deal. It, I guess it, it happens, but... Um, yeah. There was one other thing I uh, I said in that video was to um, when you're out here in the middle of nowhere with like creatures spawning, you'll want to avoid the red dots as much as humanly possible. Now the reason why I say the red dots is because the red dot creatures are basically the aggressive so even if you're not attacking them if you happen to drive by or walk by they'll actually aggro you and they will stop at nothing to make sure you are either dead or you kill them so that that's something to keep in mind I mean, they're spread out again, I'm trying to lure them closer to the nest. Alright, that should be close enough. So right now the mobs I'm facing, they're basically yellow dots without the con. So they're neutral, so they will not aggressively attack you unless you attack them first. But when they have con on, it tells me how difficult the mob is. So don't confuse the the circle with the dot. So so yeah, so you won't get confused. So when it comes to con off, you can just see dots. So there's some yellow dots over there. There's some red ones way over there. That means they will attack you on sight if you're near them. So avoid those kind of enemies. So if I enable Khan, it'll just tell me how difficult the creature is to my skill level. Which is which can come in handy. Alright, so 
I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, we're back at the mission terminal. So let's go ahead and quickly do a human mission. Now one of these should have a mission for you. Alright, oh, right, here we go. Right as I was saying it. Alright, so let's head right over there. Alright, here we are. Ooh, that was some lag. Alright, as you guys may already know from the last episode, not at that last episode, but the episode before that, I tried to do one of these missions and uh, I had to cut it out because it was just taking way too long to kill them. So, with my armor and buffs, I should be able to handle them on. Now, since these are humans, they're going to have blasters on. So I don't know how well I'm going to do, but let's find out. Oh yeah, much, much better. Especially since I got a, a brand new weapon. That's something I forgot to mention to you guys. I got a brand new weapon. There's about 165 to 320 damage. So this rifle is really nice. So let's kill the rest. And of course they're all going to come in now. Oh, and one other thing too, since this is a human mission, there can only be one wave. That's not what I meant to click on, but I'll just take it. So if you just want to get some uh, quick cash, human missions for you. You can also loot the corpses for some extra cash or junk loot. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back at the starport. Now, that's about it for destroy missions. There is one other thing too that you probably should know about, especially if you're new. When you are doing missions like what I'm doing, It'll get to a point where if you're trying to level up a skill, it'll definitely take a lot of XP. So if you noticed earlier, I was doing like a, a 5,000 or 4,000 mission of for credits. What you could do if you're in a stallmate or you at the point where you can pretty much take tank some uh, mobs you could actually group up with someone and you'll get a lot more mission uh, details a lot more mission payouts so when that happens uh, you could level up a lot better doing it doing it that way so um yeah, that's about all I have for this particular episode. I hope you guys understand better with, with this. I know about two episodes ago, I kind of glossed it over. But um, yeah, I definitely hope this made some sense, or at least helpful, at least. So um, yeah, that's all I got for this episode. I don't know what I'll be doing in the next episode but whatever it is I'll, uh, I'll talk about it and I'll share what I'm going through but yeah that, that's about it I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode Jedi Grew out